Out with it, horseman. I can tell when you've come to boast. The forge has been restored. <laughs> Aye, an alley ran round the village the moment the waters reached us, giggling like a 2,000-year-old. <laughs> it's a right noble deed for one of the riders. Perhaps I was wrong about you. Something trouble. What was old is new again. use of it as best as I can. As you reap, I listen. It is finished then, at long last. Death, this is a maker's key, and you had best take it now, before I come to my senses. <laughs> you seem more likely to lose them, old one. A problem, aye. But there is also a solution. The Guardian. Meant to be our greatest weapon, and capable of clearing the forest around the tree. But an earthquake drove us from the foundry, and now, I fear something else roams within. The Guardian was never finished. If the Guardian is your masterwork, how am I to complete him? In the forest lies another construct, one of the few remaining who have not fallen to corruption. He is not as vast as the Guardian, but his heart is strong, 
Seek him out, and he will guide you to the Foundry. There, you may activate the Guardian using the Maker's Key. The Constructs are awakened by a key? Aye. Constructs do not have a soul like you or I. Not until that soul is given. This key unlocks the stone and prepares it for the ebb and flow of a Maker's life force. In fact, it will bring to life most any construct you find in the realm. <laughs> and what makes you think I have a soul, or what? Isn't that what troubles you? If wardens can resist corruption, why not use them to cleanse your realm? Sadly, the wardens were called when the seals were broken. The Maker's toll to be paid at the end war. This warden is all that remains. Hmm. Then the seals were broken. How will I know when I've found this construct? Constructs are beings of boulder and stone, animated by a Maker's life force. Most possess but a fraction of a soul. Just enough to drive them, and give them purpose. But through others course the whole of a Maker's being, his memories and emotions, a story half-remembered. Life weighs heavy on us all. Not even stone can bear it. Blazes again, Ryder, thanks to you. But that's no excuse to hang about. Have you not a construct to awaken? Why use a key to awaken the constructs? Spirit doesn't pass through stone, unless you carve a channel for it. That's what the key is for. It's sharp enough to slide through the stuff of life. Be careful where you point it. I'm sure this key is special. Valus doesn't seem so impressed. Aye. He mourns the loss of his friend. Valus had a friend? Och aye. His great hammer, Splinterbone. It felled many a giant. But Valus lost it in a dungeon west of here, and it weighs heavy upon him. If you can find Splinterbone and return it to my brother, you will earn his gratitude. Mayhaps the forging of a proper weapon. What was Valus doing in a dungeon? We hoped to restore the shattered forge within, but it was corrupted and overrun by the sea and vermin. We barely escaped with our lives, no thanks to Khan. You let that pop guide you? Aye. At the time, we did not see the harm. But Karn would do anything to prove himself. I fear one day he will go too far. Valus has been busy. There are new items. Find the hammer just past the fjord. The Stone Father be with you, horsemen. Restoring the forge has given us hope, but hope looms as heavy as any sorrow. Farewell for now. <laughs> 